Hi, welcome to the preview video for the Fitbit Wireless Personal Trainer. Uh, hopefully you've watched the unboxing video so you'll be aware of uh, the contents of the box. What I'll do is I'll just go through the various pieces that uh, were inside the box and also just touch on some of the features um, of the Fitbit uh, ahead of the formal review. So we'll just go around the table here. So first of all we have uh, the wristband and you'll notice that there's a little pocket here and this is where you can slide the Fitbit in and uh, you strap that um, to your wrist uh, whilst you go to sleep. Uh, I'll show you how you enable the uh, sleep mode on the Fitbit uh, but that's basically to uh, make it easier for you to track uh, your sleeping well, the commencement and the uh, conclusion of your sleep cycles. Moving right along, we have um, an additional holster here um, for the Fitbit. As you can see, um, it, it is tailored for uh, either thicker garments or thicker belts. Um, looking side by side here, um, you'll notice that the Fitbit itself um, won't accommodate anything more than maybe a thin shirt or maybe um, holding on to the pocket of uh, trousers there. So um, as a rule of thumb, I figure it's always best to just use the holster anyway, because if the holster breaks, I can always get another one. If I break the Fitbit, well, I'm up for another $99. So uh, just a little tip there. Um, here, this is the uh, wireless uh, base station and charger. So as the name would suggest. Uh, this is how the Fitbit uh, connects to your computer and uh, sends its results back to the Fitbit.com website. Uh, the way that you connect it, and I'll just plug it in here just so you can see how it works, is you just slide it on top there and you can see the little battery charger symbol there. What's neat about this is it's got a little OLED screen in there there's an organic light emitting diode screen which uses incredibly low amounts of power there so you won't be draining your battery. Um, so uh, basically when you're within about 15 feet of range of the device, uh, I mean, I'll clarify that, when the Fitbit is within 15 feet of the wireless base station, it will transmit its results back to the Fitbit.com website. Otherwise, if you want it to send the results immediately, you just plug it into the base station and off you go. Now, looking at the Fitbit itself, it's a fairly simple device. Uh, pretty much it's um, the clip and there's a screen there which you can't see at the moment and there's a solitary button so I'll just take you through what uh, through the various screens so I'll start with the first screen so this is how many steps you've um, taken throughout the day so you can see I've been rather active there 14,000 steps the next screen is um, how far you've walked in your uh, unit of measurement choice so uh, that, that is set on the website and that's synchronized back to the device. So uh, I've walked about seven and a half kilometers today according to uh, the device. Next you have how many calories you've burnt. So that's 3,316 there. And finally, this is an inter uh, interesting way it uh, measures uh, your activity. Uh, it, it uses a flower to depict um, your activity over the last three hours. So uh, the most, uh, well, the maximum uh, flower rating there is uh, measured by the leaves. So the maximum rating is 12 leaves. You can see I've got seven there. It was eight about 30 minutes ago because I went around the block for another run. Um, now all of these results um, do sync back to the Fitbit.com website, um, which I'll show you a bit later. So here we have the Fitbit.com website. Uh, this is my profile. Um, if you are viewing it from the public, you probably won't see all of this information, but um, because I'm logged in as myself, you will get to see some of the information there. So basically, um, 
to get the most out of it, you do need to plug in um, some amount of data. So um, up the top here, you can see food, um, activity, so you can describe what activities you were doing at whatever times, um, and also weight as well. So if you're interested in losing a bit of weight, which um, I am, uh, that's that's uh, key to using that website as well. Um, also, you can um, set yourself a goal. So my goal is to do 70,000 weekly steps. Um, and as you can see, I've done 36% there based upon what I've done so far this week. And you know, basically there are other, th other things on the page here, such as uh, calories, um, your activity broken down, so how many steps, how far you've traveled, um, an active score, um, and it breaks things down here by um, percentages of goals. So you can see I've done really well against my goal of 10,000 steps today. 93% um, of my uh, travel target of 8.05 kilometers and 98% uh, of um, 1,000 of my active score. And there's a nice pie chart there of my um, activity. Um, now, the other benefit here is um, it also tracks your sleep. So, one thing I did forget to um, show you on the device was how to start and conclude your um, sleep uh, tracking. It's quite simple. You just hold uh, the button in for two seconds to start. Uh, the commencement of a sleep cycle and then once you wake up uh, you just press it again uh, for two seconds and that will uh, end it and that will sync up to the website as well um, I won't go too much else uh, too much further into the website I'll save that for the review uh, but the website is um, a fundamental part of using the Fitbit uh, device so stay tuned for the review and thanks for watching.